Hey guys, Papa D here with Papa D's Range Time. Fixing to get wet. I've got a passing shower that's fixing to come through, so I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible and get my camera gear back inside. So I'm out on the range today with, uh, fortunately, a new firearm that I really liked and I wanted to find out more about it. It's called the Canic, which is not the proper way to pronounce it, but since I'm in South Louisiana, I'm pretty simple. It's pronounced, uh, it's C A N I K, that's Canic to me. I know some people say Jonic and all of that, but that's nothing uh, that I worry about. So what I've got is uh, two magazines that came with the gun. Both of them are 17 round magazines. This is a model TP9SF. And reading and studying about this is uh, an economy based gun. Uh, in price, but definitely not in quality, form, fit, and function. I really like the feel of it. It fits well in my hand, and uh, just doing some dry fire practicing with it, I really like the trigger. A uh, white dot on the front, and then a blacked out U on the rear. That's just fine with me. A couple of things that I do like about it is whenever the trigger is ready, there is a load indicator or a trigger set indicator in the back. It's a red uh, indicator and here comes the rain. Uh, it's a red indicator that gives me the uh, indication that the trigger is set. Also on the Glock on the, uh, you have a load indicator on the side that tells you whenever there's a round in the chamber. This one it's on the top, it's a raised uh, top so you can take and feel on the top and feel that you have a round in the chamber you can take and see that it's cocked and ready to go. So we're going to take and run a few rounds before this rain drives me inside. I've just got a plate rack set up and I've got uh, 147 and 115 grain uh, reloads loaded up and this may not let me complete what I'm doing. But we'll take and see. I'm going to do the 115s first. I do have a camera on the uh, plate rack. We're going to run a few rounds to see what we get done. I like the idea of having 17 rounds in the mag. I like the feel of the gun. It's very, very smooth. I had a lot of misses, but these are my first fires with this. Again, I like the sights. The gun did well and ran all the ammo. I'm going to take and reset it and uh, run the 147s and try to do that a little bit more efficient. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, second mag. With the gun, these are 147s. I've got the plate rack set up, camera's still set up, and I got rain coming in. So this is going to be quick and sweet. See what we can do. That was a much better run. I like the gun. Overall feel right now, this Canic is a winner. I like it. Uh, in the box it comes with a little holster. Not my favorite type of holster, but it'll do in a pinch. I prefer to have a little bit of an angle on it, but that's okay. It gives me something to work with. It only comes with two magazines. I definitely prefer three, and uh, I have looked online, and replacement magazines don't seem to be out there. But uh, guys, I appreciate you watching. I really don't have a whole lot else that I can say about the Canic uh, at this particular time. This again is the TP9SF and uh, 
due to the weather conditions. I'm going to have to take and call it pretty quick here. But I do appreciate you watching. I do appreciate comments. Uh, please uh, subscribe and like to the channel. And we'll see you down the road on the next video. All right, guys, I'm going to try to get one or two more drills in before I get a deluge coming in. Uh, I've got four body targets. They're 12 by 24 set up, uh, different heights. And I'm at about 17 yards from the target. And all I want to do is from the holster come up and be able to access different multiple targets, see how the, the gun runs, transition, stuff like that. And uh, starting off with 147 grain, uh, berry bullets, reloads with uh, Winchester 231 powder in it. I've also got a pit bull tactical uh, mag holder on and I uh, really like this product. It works really, really well. Not used to this holster. Slow and easy. I want to take and just run these drills. Just see how I can do. You should be, I don't have the second camera set up, but you should be able to hear the uh, steel ding. That's a smooth running gun. That was really nice. Had a couple of misses, but uh, again, 17 yards on body size targets, 12 inches wide, 20 inches tall. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. It handled well, and uh, I liked it that the, the mags ejected uh, just like they're supposed to. Anyway, guys, hope you found this useful. Again, uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment on it. Again, this is the Canik uh, TP9SF. Thank you for watching. See you down the road on the next video.